Hey guys, this is Max with Able Website Pro, and I got another cool tutorial for you. This one is about getting your subscriber button in your website so that whenever somebody scrolls down on your website, they just click, click your subscribe button and they're subscribed to your YouTube channel. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. Okay guys, you're familiar with this, right? You, you hit subscribe on somebody's channel, I'm already subscribed to there, and then you hit the bell so that, you know, you'll get notifications when they upload a, a new video. Well now, you could send people right from your website to, with the subscribe button. I'm going to uh, show you how to do this right now. If you go to uh, this post on uh, AIM Website Pro, I got the links here that you need to click on. So if you go to click on this YouTube developer section, it'll take you right to the spot where you need to go. And whenever you get this page loaded up, you scroll down here. To see, see where it says subscribe button? Click add a button, just like that. After that loads up, it's going to populate the page with some choices and styling choices that you're going to want for your website. Okay, the trickiest part about this whole situation is getting your channel name or ID. If you know it, you can put it in there. But if you don't know it, this is what you do. You go up and you click on your little icon right here. And then you click on My Channel, just like that. And I want to draw your attention to up in this URL here. Do you see this little part after channel and before this question mark? That's the part that you need. You right click you copy that you come back to the tab and you put that right in there just like so and then you'll see the preview of it come up down here of what it would look like now the layout if you want the default layout this is what the default layout looks like but if you want the full layout this has a little icon in your picture and your name and then if you want the theme if you want it light or dark okay and then the su subscriber count, you could hide that if you don't want it. Like if you don't have a lot of subscribers and you don't want to show it just yet, you could always come back and change this later. The next thing that you want to do is take this little code right here and you can put it into your uh, widget. If you're in WordPress, you can put it into your header.php, footer.php. But I have a trick for you and I want to show it to you uh, right now. Uh, let me uh, go back to that. That web page I created a little function that you can put it in like I have it here if you like as you scroll down on the page because I, I am so sick of sidebars and everything like that I think they screw up my bounce rate and everything so I took it out of there but if you scroll down you can see that it's right in the post there okay and it doesn't matter what post you get to after the fourth paragraph you always see subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you scroll down here on this particular post I've created a little function. These are step-by-step -step instructions. But I created a little function for you here that you, all you would have to do is add this to your um, functions. And you see this little part right here? Put your YouTube subscribe button code in here. That's what you want to do. You want to put it in there. So what you could do is leave this. Well, Let me, let me copy over my uh, code into my so I can show you guys how to do this you know, so I'm not confusing I'll go file new note and I'll just post it in there and that's my code let me come back here and I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna copy all of this right here copy then I'm gonna bring back my notepad come down here a couple bits and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this code right here right click cut and you see right here, put your YouTube subscribe button code here. And then you just paste it in right like that. Pretty simple. And then you just take this entire code. Take this entire code. Make sure you have all of it now. Don't just grab some of it. Grab the whole thing. Right click, copy. Navigate to your WordPress. Back to your WordPress. And then what you want to do is you want to come down to appearance. And then <clears throat> appearance and then the editor right here. Now the next thing you want to do, if, if you want to get there fast, you're looking for the functions.php file. Mine is right here. But let me show you a little trick. If you hit Command F or Control F on your keyboard, you just type in F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. Okay? And it 
load that up into your editor right there and write in WordPress. You don't even have to leave your WordPress for this. Okay, then just scroll down to the bottom. Scroll down to the bottom there. And then just come down to the bottom part of it. And then hit Command V and paste that in there and then update the file. Once you update the file, go to your website and refresh it. Do a hard refresh. You might have to clear the cache, but then you'll see your uh, subscribe button right in your post, just like I have them here. Because if you're like me, you don't want to get the head too busy. You don't want the sides all busy, you know, uh, sidetracking people's attention from the article. You want them to be able to get there and get what they want to get to. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. This is Max with Avon Website Pro. Thanks for watching.